Hi there, I'm Victoria Gallagher from HipTalk.com. I want to talk to you a little bit today about demystifying the law of attraction. There's a lot of buzz these days, especially over the last few years, about the law of attraction ever since the movie The Secret came out and before that it was What the Bleep do we know and you know there's a lot of movies and books and authors and speakers and seminars and a lot of stuff coming out about the law of attraction to you know help people to understand it better to get people on board with this uh, new thought way of thinking it actually is not really new thought these are very um, original thoughts that have um, you know just kind of come back into our awareness again and so there's a lot of confusion though about what the law of attraction really is and you know I think when um, people get a little upset or disjointed or frustrated about trying to make the law of attraction work in their life and have been trying to do this for months and months or um, even years and they're not getting the results that they want and I think it's just because they are not really truly understanding or in alignment um, with the process. It's, you know, very scientific. Um, it's not something that um, you can do incorrectly once you understand. I mean, it's, it's not something you can, you can fail at. You're always succeeding at um, attracting the things to you in your life that, um, that you're attracting, that uh, you, you know, that you're thinking about, and that you're feeling about, and that you're taking action on. You where you are right now is a culmination of all of the action steps that you have taken in your life, and so that's one thing to really kind of understand when it comes to the law of attraction. I believe I have another video about it: is taking responsibility for where you are now. Without taking responsibility for where you are now, it's really hard to get your mind wrapped around the fact that if you are not responsible for creating what you have right now, how are you possibly responsible for creating what you have in the future? So if you can kind of understand the past um, actions that you've taken, how it's gotten you to where you are today, then it's much easier for you to kind of wrap your mind around the fact that you can create whatever you want to create just by taking the actions toward those things, the inspired actions. So let me just kind of back up. Um, in most schools of thought, there, there always seems to be a three-step process. You know, they talk about a three-step process in the secret. They talk about the a three-step process um, in Michael Lozier. Every every um, you know every, every school of thought has like a three-step process. I am uh, kind of coming up with my own idea of what the three-step process is. Personally, I feel like there's a lot more steps involved, but I'm gonna. Come, I'm going to come out and, and talk about the three steps, but how those steps actually do break down into further steps, and we can get into that in later videos and other trainings. And um, if you're interested in getting trained in coaching and how to make the law of attraction work, that is something that I'm kind of putting out there uh, that I want to devote a little bit more of my time to because um, you know hypnosis which is what I've been doing for the you know past 12 years or so um, is a great way to assist with just making things making the realities happen in your life that you want to bring about and I believe the two of them are a real good blend and I, I honestly I'm just so attracted to the law of attraction because I've seen how how it works in my own life how it's worked for to my benefit and how it's also not worked um, to my benefit when I am in a low vibration so I want to just kind of demystify this about it you know there's no magic fairy dust 
I just want to be honest with you. Um, now, is there is there energy? Is there God? Is there universe? Is there you know something out there that you're kind of impressing your thoughts upon? Uh, substance that is forming that's making these things happen? I say yes and no. Okay, so we're we're getting into the first step right now. The very 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 first step in attracting anything to your life is conceiving. All right, they you know Think and Grow Rich actually was probably one of the first books that I ever read about manifesting. And, um, and so, you know, he, he talks about um, if you can conceive it and believe it, you can achieve it. So I'm kind of using that premise as the three-step process. Conceive being the first step. And when I say conceive, I'm talking about thinking. I'm talking about using your mind, using your mental power to think of yourself um, whether it be visually, however you think of yourself when you think about yourself, however you perceive yourself when you're using your imagination about past, present, future, whatever it may be. So the very, very first step is to conceive. What is it that you want? Now we spend so much time and you know, there's, there's many more, in my opinion, many more negative thoughts going around and many more negative vibrations going around. I mean, just look at YouTube and um, I'm sure I'm sure this will be um, privy to the exact same situation where, um, you know, people um, are just constantly looking for something wrong. I mean, look at American Idol. You know, I'm sure that, you know, when you watch American Idol, you know, you're judging and you're thinking about what's wrong. And you look at your own life and you're thinking about what's wrong and what you don't like. And you look at this person and all, the, you know, you're judging that person and you're judging yourself and you're judging what you have and what you don't, usually what you don't have. And so that is the first place that you want to look are what are these things that I'm continually feeling bad about? What are, what's making me feel bad? What's, what's getting in my way? What's, um, what am I complaining about? You know, stop complaining. It's time to actually, um, instead of, you know, if, if you hear yourself using, um, you know, like Michael Lozier says, you know, don't not know, um, you know, any of those kind of negative words, if you hear yourself using those words, stop and ask yourself, what do you want? And so that's the first step is it's the con conception, it's the thought, all right? It's, it's just, it's con conceiving of that, of that idea and, and getting that into your brain. All right. So now the second step is about believing. Okay. So conceive, believe, achieve. Um, so how do you get yourself to believe that you could actually have this thing that you want? And I recommend starting with something small if you're not really familiar with uh, this way of attracting things into your life. Um, you know, set some type of a, a 30 day goal for yourself that you're going to manifest something that Ordinarily, you wouldn't be able to manifest without a little extra help. And so, you know, just something a little out of reach, something that really kind of says, hmm, it just kind of gets you into that thinking, hmm, maybe, maybe there is something to all of this law of attraction. And once you get that, then you start to build a little bit more self-confidence and you're able to attract even bigger things. So it's, you know, something that kind of takes, you know, practice. I don't recommend if, you know, you're worried about how you're going to pay the rent or the mortgage this month that you start with something like I'm, uh, you know, going to attract $50 million in the next six months or something like that. I, I don't recommend that right now. I would recommend starting with something that is just a little bit more within your general that, so that you can really conceive, that you can really believe. You, it, you know, most of the people um, don't win the lottery because when they buy tickets, they, they, they don't even think that they're going to win. They just kind of buy them and they hope they hope that they're going to win, but they don't really believe. They don't really, you know, 
and 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 a lot of times they need to win and there's a difference between needing something and and desiring something and wanting something so um, anyway I that's that's the, the next step is actually believing and how you believe something is a little bit tricky first of all um, you need to get yourself to feel the thing that you want and one one thing I recommend as far as getting yourself to feel that is as soon as you've done the first thing you've conceived of it you've thought about it then you, you kind of take a little bit of a step into your own life right now and you start to kind of take a look at the things that you already have, the things that you're already grateful for, and you just, I mean, and you have something. So if you're starting with an idea or a concept in your mind that I don't have anything to be grateful for, law of attraction absolutely is not going to work for you. You have to find, there are things for you to be grateful for, even if it's just the fact that you're on a computer right now or on your iPhone or and you have eyes and you have ears you know you just start with even the most basic essential elements to life and then just you know work it forward from there you know are you working are you employed maybe you don't like the job that you're in but just be grateful for what it is that you have in your life right now and you know start to raise your vibration and then you start to maybe expand that to, well, you know, have other people done this before? Because the thing is, is that you, know, you have all the resources inside of you to make this happen. And that's where the power really is. See, it, it really does come down to your beliefs. All of the greats that have done great things that are making multi-millions of dollars out there many of them had pretty rough starts in their lives and not many of them just started off with that but they had a burning desire to get to where they are and they believed it and they didn't have any more resources than you do. So you have all of the resources. If anybody else has done that thing, then you can do it too. There's nothing that anybody else, you know, there's no reason, there's nothing that's that makes it impossible inherently for another person to do something. Uh, just because those people are famous or successful or rich or whatever it is, doesn't mean that you can't do the same thing that they can. So if, if you can think of anybody who's done the same thing that you want to achieve, then you absolutely can do it too. You can create, you can find the resources. Um, you're usually only about five people away from, you know, um, five steps removed from the person who's done that thing. So you can start to work toward finding those resources, you know, research those resources, meditate, do whatever you need to do. Find out where your limiting beliefs have come from and work through hypnosis to get those things resolved, okay? So now the, the most important step that you need to take, obviously, is to take action. And this is the achieving part. Nothing is ever achieved without taking action. You actually do have to pick up the phone and make a phone call. You actually do have to go uh, you know, to meet somebody that might be in the process of uh, a business venture that you're working on or um, you know if you're looking for love or you're looking to lose weight or you're looking you know anything that you're working on is going to require some kind of action but that action needs to be inspired it needs to be coming from um, you know that your um, thought your conception about what it is that you want to create your your belief and and the good feelings and the good vibrations that you're creating and then moving forward with that taking the inspired action and even if you're not in the place that you're wanting to get to even if you know if it's say a business that you're wanting to create or um, you know you want to act always as if 
you have those things and you know that's how you're kind of putting yourself in the right place you know we're always is you know luck is you know being at the you know right place at the right time but um the reason why people are are luckier than some other people um, is because they expect that luck to happen for them. They expect good things to happen for themselves. They put themselves into uh, the right situation. And so all of these resources, everything that is required for you to make the law of attraction work is right inside of you. Um, you don't need any special magic hocus Focus, you know, in order for this to happen, it all really just happens for you from you tapping into that great resource within you, your subconscious mind, and bringing these things that you want to create into fruition, no matter how big or how small. There's nothing too big for you to create, but you know, taking the baby steps is going to help you to see how it works and to believe in the process and to help you to move on to bigger and better things. You know, most CEOs, they didn't just walk into the company and become the CEO. You're becoming the CEO of making your dreams come true right now. And you got to start out, um, you know, by just getting the job and believing in yourself enough to know that you can make your dreams come true. So if you have any questions about this stuff, it's you know, one of my favorite topics. It's something that um, I really love helping people to do and so uh, visit my website hiptalk.com that's h-y-p-t-a-l-k.com i'm victoria gallagher send me a question and um, i have actually quite a lot of different hypnosis programs that help you to overcome limiting beliefs and help you to move forward with uh, being more attractive to things like love and money and all kinds of things so if you're interested in learning more about this go to my website and i look forward to seeing you there thanks for watching have a great day